Hello, Delaware. I'm Christian Andres, an undergraduate researcher at the University of Delaware. This summer, with the Envision program, I'm studying avian respiratory microbiomes. To determine the composition of a chicken's respiratory microbiome, a sample must be taken, extracted, and sequenced. The extracted and sequenced DNA and RNA can then be cross-referenced against databases provided by the NCBI. This analysis uses BiomeSeq, which will look at DNA and RNA viruses, bacteria, phages, and fungi populations. My research aims to determine whether or not samples taken from individual birds can be used to determine the distribution of various pathogens throughout a population. Past research done by Kelly Mulholland and Monique Robinson looked at samples pulled from six birds over eight weeks from placement to harvest. The ability to effectively determine the composition of avian respiratory microbiomes was proven by the detection of a dysbiosis in birds diagnosed with infectious laryngotracheitis virus. This figure displays the respiratory microbiome composition of the healthy birds in blue and the diseased in red. Microbes and viruses present in both are green. Samples collected from my individual birds contain a sequenceable quantity of DNA and RNA. This, however, includes DNA and RNA from the chicken. After sequencing and analysis, the composition of the individual birds' microbiomes can be compiled and examined as a population. This should yield similar results to Kelly and Monique's research, but with the added ability to determine how each individual contributes to the prevalence of an organism or virus. Using a nanodrop spectrophotometer and UV light, we determined our samples had sufficient DNA and RNA for sequencing analysis. Our samples are now in the process of being sequenced, and we hope to see results similar to Kelly and Monique's. I am incredibly grateful for my wonderful mentors, Dr. Calvin Keeler and Dr. Sharon Keeler. Through the Envision program, I have gained the experience I need to succeed. Thank you.